Good day world and welcome back to Stuff We Do where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. It's been the first time that the rain has led up in two days. Um, yes, so I can actually make a video. But I'm not really making a video about anything specific today. Today is more like a hangout. Um, we're drinking beer, so that's nice. And we are starting a braai. Hopefully we can braai something before the rain starts again. And my neighbor has been grinding things for the last five minutes since the rain has stopped. So that poor guy has to do something. And at least the rain has stopped so he can do it. Okay, tomorrow I am at home alone. And then we are going to be talking about this wonderful knife. If you can find any info on this knife, that would be great. So please start researching because I haven't been able to find anything. This knife is a Victoria Inox. Okay, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Then, um, I bought things today. Wait, before we get to that. I actually got it right to destroy this thing. Um, this is one of the most hard used knives I've ever had. This is a Black Fox Huggins and 4 inch blade. It's a monster. Um, the murder grind or what do you call this? The deal grind. Um, wonderful knife. This thing flips out like a monster and I've tightened this pivot to the edge. Okay, so no wiggle at all, but if you can look in here, remember since the beginning I've said this thing has got like 100% lock, but I've been chopping with it. The cho the, that sound you're hearing is from next door, and he's not that close to me, so I don't know why I can still hear it. He must be beating something horrendous over there. Okay, it's got some kind of lock rock over here. I don't know if you can see that or hear that, but... It's got a bit of lock rock. Okay, you can see the white nails and knuckles. So it's not like easy, but still. Also, I have to sharpen this thing. And I have no idea how I'm going to sharpen this recurve and whatnot. So we'll do that in a separate video trying to fix this up again. Because look at this thing. That knife just looks like the business. Okay, so that's an upcoming video also fixing that poor knife and then um, today I've been rocking this one again um, I was pulling out nails and cutting things and making fire um, we have like this outside area we live in South Africa everybody's got an outside braai area but we have this outside braai area and just for fun I did everything with this thing today Cutting pieces of wood with the saw and then splitting them with that's most likely why my knives break because I use them for things they're not intended to anyway splitting pieces of kindling with this and then pulling nails out of a little box with this thing to use as a little I don't know braai caddy where I can put my spices and stuff in okay so I've been playing with this one um, and I had the kids today my wife went to some kind of brunch or something with her girlfriends. This doesn't happen a lot. Um, anyway, so while I was driving around with the kids, my normal ruler that I always use, it's too shiny and it doesn't, yeah, people can't see what I'm showing them. And this thing means almost nothing because half of the time I'm trying to show things in inches and then I always have centimeters and it confuses the life out of me and I don't know how inches really works and stuff like that. So I bought myself a new ruler today apart from the dinosaurs and things that the kids wanted. Now this one is a better color so at least you can see. So we have a new ruler. Look at that. We have a new ruler and that will be our new featured ruler from now on. Okay, also to make sure that I am seen as somebody in the knife community, 
I need to show you weights on things. So I bought this thing, the Dequip Electronic Ultra Slim Kitchen Scale. Um, I was looking at the scales that people use in their videos and it's always some kind of fantastically small or slim little thing and then I decided to go buy one. Now I bought this thing, so I really hope this works. Um, Dequip Electronic Ultra Slim Kitchen Scale. Um, okay, I had no idea what I was looking for, because I saw the jewelry ones are way too expensive, so I'm not going to do that, and I don't want something that fits into my pocket, so I thought, ah, and of course, now I can see reflections on the thing. Anyway, so I thought this would be nice. Um, but when I got home, I realized that something might be wrong. Because... 189 grams. But the only other functions this thing has is milk or water. So that's water, that's milk, and then that's the weight. So if you don't stay in South Africa, I'm really sorry. You're going to have to do your own conversions to get it to in, oh, what's it, um, ounces. One more thing to get this thing up and running for this whole knife thing. Inside of my, my, hold on a second. And I'm back. Okay, inside of my old timer. Built for generations is 1958 knives tin. That's where I keep all my stickers. Now, for some other reason, I give away stickers way too quickly. Okay, I have a holographic Lost Ranger sticker. Oh, while we're talking about the Lost Ranger, um, if you've seen an improvement in my channel art and in my little logo thingy, that's because of the Last Ranger. Um, he did all of that without me even asking. He just said, um, I'll do it for you. And Well, actually, he just did it. And then he sent it to me. And he said, do you like this? Do you want this? Whatever. So, please go check out Gary at the Last Ranger. Um, fantastic guy. Wonderful knives. Wonderful reviews. Takes things apart daily. He's really, really a wonderful guy and a wonderful channel. So if you um, like knives and knife reviews and things like that, go check out The Last Ranger. Um, really, really a wonderful guy. Uh, uh, so many people on this knife. I always, uh, well, I never used to talk about the knife community because that just sounds weird. But I must say, people in the knife community they are extremely nice um what's the guy's name calvin and Hobbs. um it used to be the goon docks um he's sending me a knife again so these people are really generous really nice the last two knives i reviewed i got from the knife beater um from jay so these people are extremely nice extremely friendly um support them any way you can even if you just subscribe that's enough subscribe and go watch their videos these people are extremely nice i did not expect that when i started this youtube channel so anyway um gary from the last ranger all the channel art you see on this channel that's nice he did everything you see that looks old and weird i did um yes so let's look inside of my little box. We have uh, stuff we do and then this guy with the knives. And that's the only ones I have left over because apparently people did not like these that much. A few, aha, we do still have a few of the normal olden day ones. Um, I will be making new stickers and if you live in South Africa, I will hook you up. If you contact me, my email address and everything is in the description. If you live overseas, 
I don't want to be one of those people that say I don't want to send things overseas, but I don't want to send things overseas. Um, it's just too difficult, and nothing I've ever sent has ever reached <coughs> excuse me, their destination. Um, for some other reason, I've started to receive things, so maybe I'll try that again at a later stage, but for now, not so much. Um, we have this problem with people not really caring in South Africa, so yeah. Okay, I cannot get this thing off, but imagine this being stuck there and then this being my new, maybe even two, to get the glare off here. Where's that other one I saw? There, maybe we stick this one there and that one there. And maybe one of these there. And then when we cover this whole thing, then we won't have so much glare. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that off camera. So now I have a scale, a ruler you can actually see, made in China, like we knives and all the other good stuff we love. Kaiser, I love Kaiser. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got this bug thing going on for the last while. Um, it seems like I've been sick a lot this year. This has been a horrible year for everything and especially for health. So I'm going to be using the new ruler, the new scale, and once I have the scale up and running, then I am a legit knife channel because everybody knows you have to be able to weigh things. I normally just tell you to go look at the website and see what the thing weighs, but I'm going to be better from now on, I suppose. Okay, so, um, not really a video, stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Um, tomorrow we will be looking at that weird Victory Knox. Um, okay, and I will tell you what I know about it, and hopefully you will love it. Bye-bye.